this. Today we're going to be talking about this mag pouch right here. So I'll give you a closer look at it here in a second, but I want to kind of go over um, the different types of mag pouches that are out there that you can get for cheap. And most of these are made by Condor. There's a few that aren't. I'll, I'll show you those. But uh, the one we're going to be talking about today specifically is this one right there, and that is the Condor, and it's the... It holds six mags, but it's the triple double mag pouch. Um, the reason I like this one specifically is because it can hold six mags, which is nice. Um, but it can also, as you see right here right now, it can hold three mags and then these outer pouches just basically collapse into nothing. So you can run three mags, which is what I do most of the time. But if you want, you can throw an extra three mags on front, you know, depending on what you're doing, if you want more. If you need more mags for whatever um, you're doing, then you have the option to do so, but it folds up basically flat. So if you have to go in a prone position or anything like that, it's still easy to do so. Eight. Four. Four. Ten. So some other options that are out there um, that are similar or made by Condor as well um, are these over here. Now these are the Condor. These are actually, this is a double mag pouch and it ha has two rifle mag pouches on it and it has two pistol mag pouches. Um, I put this out here to kind of give you a comparison because I've had a, a few different uh, type of mag pouches for rifle magazines um, over the years and I've pretty much come to this type over here being my favorite. Um, and I'll go over why. So the other triple mag pouch that I had, it was actually, it would hold six mags as well. And it was the Velcro, kind of like these. So as you can see right here, this is a pistol mag pouch on the outside. But just imagine this is a rifle one. I don't actually have one here anymore. Um, I sold it a little while back to someone else. But um, it had basically, if you can imagine, just like this up front, except it had a Velcro snap that went over the top of it. And it would hold either three mags or you could fit um, six mags in there if you wanted to. Um, I used that for a little while, and I wasn't a big fan of it for a couple reasons. Mainly because whenever you're wearing gloves, the Velcro, whenever you try to pull it up, sticks to your gloves. Unless you're wearing some type of gloves that doesn't stick to Velcro. I mean, I'm sure there's some out there. Um, it's going to rip up your gloves, and it's going to get your hand's going to get stuck to the magazine as you try to pull it out. And so as you try to pull out the mag, this right here, as you can see, it grabs on the fabric, which, I mean, that's the point of Velcro, that's what it does, so that's not unexpected. But whenever you try to pull out the magazine, your gloves are going to get stuck on the Velcro, and then it's just going to mess up your reload. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of Velcro. Now you can get around that, and this plate carrier obviously has nothing in it. This is just a spare setup. I just basically threw all of my extra stuff that I didn't use and threw it all in one plate carrier, and this is my throw to somebody else plate carrier if for some reason they, you know, somebody needs it. Um, but one thing you can do with this type is you can just tuck um, the flap down in behind it and then put the magazines in front if you want like a more fast reload. But just know at that point, the only retention you have is pretty much how snug the mags are into the pouch itself. There's a little bit of um, elastic right here. And the same thing is true on the double bag pouches for the rifle size ones. So they, do, they still do retain um, the magazines well. So what I was talking about with the like double mag pouches earlier is here's an example with the Velcro over the top. So if you're going to use something like this and you want it to be more of a speed reload, tuck this back, the Velcro back in on itself, then put your magazines in. That way it doesn't get in the way and you can you have more to grab on here. That Velcro isn't up here in the way and you can still Velcro it all you want. Or if you want to make it even slicker, you can tuck this you know back behind there. And then friction's the only thing holding this in. So as long as you don't trip or fall or whatever, then this will stay in place. 
But to be honest, I think for the average person, Velcro like this is really only going to get in the way. Another thing about the Velcro is it's obviously slower. And then two, you're having to deal with this flap. So just beside the Velcro itself getting stuck, you're going to try to pull out your magazine. The Velcro flap is going to fall back down and you're going to have to rip it back open again and grab your magazine. Good. And, you know, kind of it, the whole flap just kind of it's slower. It gets in the way. But it does have better retention. So if you are unfortunate and, you know, take a stumble down a hill or down a cliff or whatever, your mags are going to stay put. So that's a positive for Velcro, but just know it's slower. So if you wanted to have, you know, speed reloads on your belt, like something, let me grab this over here. So something like this um, would go on your belt. This is just, again, a spare belt setup that I basically threw together to test out a couple different things. Um, mainly for winter clothing that I can put on the outside of my jacket. Um, but anyways, if you have, you know, mag pouches like this, this is the Ido gear. Um, if you have something like this on the side of your belt, either one or two of these for your speed reload, and then, you know, say you have Velcro uh, for your plate carrier, that's still a pretty good option because you at least have magazines that you can access quickly if you need to, and then your other magazines can be, or your other reloads can be slower. So as you'll notice, and... Condor makes a few different types. So if you get a single mag pouch that they make, which this is a single mag pouch over here that I spray painted, it was black. So yeah, you can spray paint these if you want to, just know they're gonna be pretty stiff afterwards. So that's just, that was kind of just a test to see if you could do it. You can, it's not the best, but it's doable. Um, but the problem with these is the magazine is so covered up, it come, the fabric comes all the way up to here. And so whenever you pull a little tab off to the side, and try to pull out your mag, you're gonna basically just have to pull it like this. So you're gonna be pulling out kind of like a, kind of like if you're racking a pistol uh, slide with your fingers and you're just using your finger and your thumb right here to rack the slide. Kind of the same thing, you don't get a lot of purchase. Uh, so it's easy for your hand to slide off the magazine. So just know that you can put mag pulls or something on there, you know, base plates on the bottom where you can pull them out easier. Um, but just know that that's gonna be an issue with that type of magazine specifically. So you wanna make sure that your pouch, you know, is low enough where you can get to it. Something else that's also worth mentioning is I don't like these type of mag pouches specifically for plate carriers. And what I mean by that is ones that have the rifle and the pistol mag pouch on the same thing. So now if this is just a plate carrier you have and say, you know, say your LE or, you know, something like that where you have a plate carrier just in your patrol vehicle or say you work security, something like that, where your plate carrier has everything on it that you need, um, this might be a decent option because you have all that there and it just gives you extra, extra stuff. So now me specifically, I don't like pistol mag pouches on the outside um, of my mag pouches or I guess pistol magazine pouches on my plate carrier in general. There's some situations where it might be useful, like if you just you know had this plate carrier and you just threw it in your truck and that you know you didn't have a belt with everything on it then grab one item and then you have everything like that's nice so that is an advantage for you know something like this but if you have the option of wearing a belt and a plate carrier i put all my pistol stuff on my belt because that's where my pistol is so there's no reason to have pistol extra pistol mags if i don't have a pistol now again like if you're concealed carrying and you throw this plate carrier in and it's like your truck gun you know companion um then yeah then that makes sense uh but again just make sure you have a reason to put the pistol mag uh, mag pouches on there. If you can put them on your belt and spread out the weight, that works a lot better. But if you don't have that belt option, then obviously you can throw them on there. But in general, um, when it comes to like a um, a duty style setup or whatever you want to call it, you know, uh, crazy end of the world, whatever, insert here. Um, I like having pistol, pistol mag pouches on my belt. And then I like having all my rifle uh, gear and equipment, magazines and everything on my plate carrier uh, to go with my rifle. And that's just my personal opinion. You can disagree, that's fine. You set it up however you like it. But pretty much what I found out is it's hard to draw from the pistol mag from here. It's easier to draw from your belt because they're lower. Um, and these also just stick out a lot. So whereas you're stuck um, with the pistol mount, uh, pouches on the outside of these, whenever you go prone, it, it's weird. It kind of gets in the way. It sticks out really far. And you can't download uh, like you can on this one because this is all rifle mags. If you download this, then you just lost all of your pistol magazines. So another reason to put them on your belt. So now let's talk specifically about this uh, mag pouch. And again, this is made by Condor. I'm I'm a pretty good fan of Condor, to be honest. Uh, their material that they use isn't the thickest. It's not the most durable on the planet. But um, I've been using this mag pouch for at least two years now. I Probably longer than that. And before that, I had the Velcro over the top ones. I never had an issue with those whatsoever. Um, I've used those in, whenever I've gone to training classes and everything else. But this is... 
this is generally uh, what I use for just every day, day to day. And I like this over the Velcro or the bungees because the bungees still hold your magazine secure. Like I can pull pretty hard on this and it's not, it's not gonna come out. Now it is relatively easy to bump this off to the side and then you can just pull out your mag, you know, pretty easily, but it takes a, a decent amount of force to bump this from the side. And generally if something's bumping it from the side right here, it's gonna be pretty much scraping against the bottom of your chin. So I don't really worry too much about that. Now, would I jump out of a plane or, you know, go take a tumble down the cliff with these? Um, probably not. But now if you took a tumble down the cliff, then these would probably still stay in versus if they were in something, again, like this, they're probably going to fall out. Um, don't believe me. Read the uh, the book Lone Survivor or I guess watch the movie. Um, Marco Sotrell talks about that, how pretty much all their stuff fell out. I know it's not fun to talk about, oh, you know, tripping in the woods and all of your stuff falling out, but that's a reality of things. Um, especially if you're walking around at night, even if you have night vision, you're going to be tripping over logs, stuff like that. So it's good to have something that retains your equipment well. And again, the point of these is not for a speed reload. That should be on your belt. Uh, the point of these is just to have spare magazines. You can move these to your speed reload as you need to, because the idea is you shouldn't have to draw from these quickly. I mean, I guess in theory you could. And again, this is faster um then velcro pouches are like i showed earlier um they're not that much slower and if you want to again just slide that off to the side and now you got a fast reload where you can just grab right here so one thing i like about these two over the single map pouches is you can see right here the material is lower cut it doesn't go up as high on the magazine so you get a little bit more purchase um so that's nice um, i'll show you what that looks like here it's not substantially um, cut higher and in case you're wondering uh, the reason I put green on there is because it's green tip So I like having options. So I, th I usually throw at least one mag with green tip in there So you can see right here It's slightly lower not a lot, but the other magazine would come up to right about here So it's a little bit lower. So they did good uh, when it comes to that As it stretches out, it'll get a little bit lower um, But you can still grab them pretty easily. I would prefer it actually if this material which is just like this one. So the mag pouch up front, as you can see here, I'll show this down in there. And I actually tuck the bungees kind of down in here out of the way because I'm not using them. So one bad thing about these pouches too is it's harder to insert mags once you take them out. But again, you shouldn't be putting mags in here, you know, in their stressful situation. But whenever you put double them up, um, you can see the material just comes down to here. So it's highly dependent on this bungee. So if you put this out here, I mean, it's still pretty snug um, because of the friction from the one in front of it, but just know it's going to come out a lot easier. So if you want to do speed reloads from this plate carrier, you know, double up, put them on the front, whatever you want to do. And in case you're wondering, you know, uh, P Mags is a Gen 3 P Mag, fits just fine. Um, again, it's really easy to draw from these. At some point, I'll insert some footage of me drawing from this and like in the prone position, it's plenty doable. You just flip that off to the side and you just pull it right out. Not a big deal. Tim. Is this material, again, is Condor going to make the most durable material on the planet? No, it's not. Um, you're not paying for that. I think these things are roughly $20, bucks, $25. I'll insert a link so you can click on it, whatever they're going for now. They were go they were a little bit more expensive than other things, just like everything else has been over the past year. But in general, they're around $20, $25 um, for this specific setup. And again, I don't really have any complaints over it. One thing I would not do for your plate carrier, this is just, again, this isn't necessarily talking about the Condor or even Ido here specifically, but I wouldn't use this type of mag pouch on the front of my plate carrier uh, just because they're not as secure. That to me is more of a speed reload. So just to show you a comparison, you can fit six mags in here. Obviously one more fit right there if you wanted to. That shows you how much it sticks out. I generally, again, don't run six mags um, unless it's for a specific purpose. Generally I'll run three and then I have my spare on my belt and then I have one in the gun. Um, but you have the option and you know, if you're going to some situation, like, I don't know if you've seen the movie that just came out recently on Netflix, the tomorrow war or whatever it's called with Chris Pratt. It's actually a really fun movie. Uh, you should watch it. If you haven't, just don't be too analytical of it. It's, it's pretty cheesy and there's a lot of plot holes, but you know, like sending in soldiers with basically one or two magazines, like everybody runs out of ammo. Nobody has plate carriers or body armor. They're wearing like their suit jacket from work. It's kind of stupid, but it's a fun movie. But you know, and if you're going to some sort of situation like that, you're going to want more mags. Um, so 
obviously having the option is good. And then not wanting them is also good with this plate here because again, you can tuck everything just kind of inside of itself and all this will lay flat and it doesn't get in the way. So I like that versus, you know, some people will stack a whole bunch of these other type plastic mags or, you know, something similar on top of each other. And then you're stuck with that sticking out even if there's no mags in there. So I like something that can fold up. This isn't going to be as durable. It's not going to be as high speed, um, but it's better for prone shooting, which most people, if you're going to get shot at and you're out in the open, you're going to hit the deck pretty, pretty quick. Still one. Now the back of these attach with Molly, just like um, pretty much 99% of all the other gear out there. Um, I don't have a problem with the Molly. I put it on there and it's been solid. Uh, the straps on there are plenty durable. Again, for 99% of the people out there, whether it's law enforcement, concerned citizen, you know, you want these for, I don't know, a truck plate carrier, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, into the world rig, whatever. Um, this is going to be plenty durable. Uh, would I want to go, you know, dragging it behind my truck on a rope for, you know, three hours? No, it, something on it would probably rip or break. But I, again, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, hard on my gear and it's lasted just fine. There's no fraying, the stitching's not coming undone that I can tell. And worst case, if it breaks, buy another one. Again, they're like 25 bucks, super cheap. Um, there's a lot of other ones out there. They're made of better material and everything. You know, they're going to be a little bit heavier and they're going to be more expensive. They will be more durable. But again, for 99% of the people out there, you're not going to need something that's bomb proof necessarily because this isn't something that's a high wear item necessarily. Like say something like an optic would be on your rifle. It might get dropped or whatever. You know, the, the wear and tear on this is going to be less. But if you guys have any questions about this specifically, uh, feel free to let me know. Again, this is just my favorite uh, magazine pouch that I've used for a plate carrier specifically. I just like the pull tabs, they're fast, they're easy to use, and then they hold your magazine secure, which in my opinion is the most important thing of a mag pouch. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them below. I'll answer everybody I can. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Um, we appreciate that. All that said, I hope you have a good one.